Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Five Minute Econometrics. In this topic, I will introduce the OLS method. OLS is the abbreviation for Ordinary Least Squares. It is a method to estimate the relationship between two variables. Suppose we observe the workers' hourly wage in 2017 and their parents' average income during childhood. We may wonder whether the workers' hourly wage relates to their parents' income. If we assume a linear relationship between them, we can write a linear function and estimate the coefficient on the parents' income variable. The ordinary least squares OLS is the most commonly used method to estimate the coefficient. The idea behind this method is to minimize the sum of the squared residuals of the observations. What are the residuals? It is better to illustrate it in the graph. Point A represents the actual value of the log wage we observed when the log parent income equals nine. Point A hat represents the fitted value when the log parent income equals nine. It is on the fitted line. Similarly, point B represents another actual value of the worker's wage we observed, while point B hat is the fitted value we compute. Using the OLS estimators at the corresponding parent income, we see that point C and D are the actual values, and the C hat and D hat on the fitted line are the fitted values. The residual mu hat is the difference between the actual and fitted values. Some residuals are positive, like for B and B hat. And some are negative, like for A and A hat. For our example, for each parent's income, there is an actual value of the worker's wage and a fitted value. How do we estimate the fitted line? That is to say, how to estimate the intercept and the slope coefficients? The ordinary least squares OLS method of estimating the coefficients is to minimize the sum. Of the squared residuals, we can think of the idea as finding a straight line that makes the distance between the actual values and the fitted values as small as possible. Since some distances are negative, we square the residuals. In Stata, we use the command regress to perform the OLS regression. We type regress. Log wage, log parent income. The estimated coefficient on the explanatory variable is 0.35. It implies that if the parent's income increases by 10%, their children's wages will increase by 3.5% on average after they grow up. But this simple regression is almost inevitable to suffer from omitted variable bias. Finally. Let's look at the graph of the scatter plots and the OLS fitted line for this example. There were 4,183 workers in the sample. For simplicity, I draw the graph for the 1,884 male workers only. We see that the OLS fitted values are located on the fitted line. The fitted line is upward sloping, minimizing the sum of the squared residuals. Thank you for watching the Five Minute Econometrics. See you soon. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.